So today, Meta had their in-person event today. It might be the best tech company of this year so far. But Apple's over there releasing mediocre products and Samsung is just doing alright. I feel like no other company is really pushing the market forward except for Meta. So first they announced the Quest 3S and it's basically like a cheaper version of the Quest 3. They have the same chip, most of the same features. So just mixed reality, pass-through, hand tracking. I'm over like the, the Quest 3 is still a better product, but it's meant for like new users. They're looking for like a new headset for the market for affordable price or like existing Quest 2 users are looking for an upgrade. So it starts at $299 with 128 gigabytes of storage. While the big brother, the Quest 3, got upgraded and now starts at $499 with 512 gigabytes of storage. They've had a guy sitting on the crowd streaming from the Quest 3S and the past two doesn't even look the past two video call doesn't even look that bad for him. But it was like a funny experience where it's like look at the poor guy in the crowd just sitting right there. He's like just looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> but on a second note, can we take a second to like appreciate like how like a human Mark Zuckerberg is like the more advanced AI gets, the better like he the more human he gets, it's a weird correlation. But now on the software side, you can still not connect the Quest 3 or the Quest 3S to any Windows 11 PC. It's just like the Apple Vision Pro. I'm not going to lie, the Quest is really taking most of Apple's good features for a for the price. Like, it's actually getting ridiculous. Hopefully, it's going to force Apple to innovate and make a better headset for a cheaper price because this price hike for 3500 is ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but really, Meta is dominating like, the market for VR headsets. But for games, Meta announced a Batman game, which doesn't even look that bad for real, and it comes free with the Quest 3 or the Quest 3S if you buy it this fall. But next, with Meta AI, they made it open source, which is actually really good for developers, and also gave it a voice to, that's what it sounds like. Those can be risky, yes. They can be unpredictable, prone to technical issues, and potentially embarrassing. However, they can also be engaged. Sounds kind of, I don't even know. Italian? I don't even know what kind of accent that is. But yeah. Man, every day AI just I guess more human. It's kinda of creepy. But also last it comes to like translate. You can also um not with meta AI, right? It's gonna be built into like um it's already built in into like WhatsApp, IG, and every meta platform. But now right, you can also like translate your reels from one language from one language to the other language. So right now it's gonna start with English and Spanish. But if you look at the demo right there. Mi lengua materna es el español, pero fíjate, ahora también puedo hablar inglés a través del doblaje automático de IA. My native language is Spanish, but check it out, now I can also speak English through AI automatic dubbing. Yeah, but you can see like it translates like the guys like, it, it translates the guys real from English to Spanish in his full voice. And it, it comes like, it comes to lip sync too. It's kind of crazy. But next, but this is really just meant to connect um, content creators to, like a wider audience in different in different parts of, like the um, continents, different regions, and everything else. But last, they also announced a new prototype glasses called Orion, and it basically looks like something out of like a Ready Player One movie. I just look at this. This is, like, this is what I mean by innovating. <clears throat> Apple, uh, it should innovate. Uh, a, a budding bro, like come on. Yeah, Apple, take notes. But you can literally have windows open and it can project holograms through your glasses. This is like advanced tech right here. And yeah, uh, also it has hand tracking, eye tracking, like the Apple Vision Pro. And it also has wrist tracking. But I'm really proud of Meta for like just innovating the market and keeping technology like forward and exciting. But if you enjoy content like this, especially like tech content, subscribe and help with like a struggling cost student.